You checking on this order that was supposed to have been picked up the 23rd? 24th, I'm sorry. Ma'am, am I understanding you correctly? Hello, ma'am. I'm here. Yes, ma'am. Did I understand uh, you? Co all right, so you mentioned that it's supposed to be delivered, or um, supposed to be picked up on the 24th, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, let me go ahead first and check this one for you. I'll be placing this call on hold just for a minute or two, okay? Just stay in the line. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Put y'all on pause, too. Oh no, you get to hear that crappy music. Yeah. Thank you so much for patiently holding on the line. I apologize for the wait. Alright, and for this one, it's showing here on my end that the reason as to why UPS wasn't able to pick up your item is because it's showing here that there's no return label that was processed on your account. So what am I gonna see here is I'll go ahead and do that for you. And um please expect it to Please expect the UPS to pick up your package on the next business day. So since today is um, 26, um, they probably they will probably try to pick up your item on Monday. Okay. Hello. Hello. Well, I'm, yes, ma'am. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to process this because I was told that that yeah. it was going to happen. He was going to bring a label, and then I was going to get my money back when you got the package. But now it's going to be another what five days? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that sounds that sounds mighty convenient. That sounds mighty convenient that somebody mysteriously didn't get it right again. Ma'am, that doesn't said that that seems to be standard operating procedure. So get it wrong the first time to buy yourself a little time so you don't have to pay that money back uh, uh, for a few more days. Me times a million people. Well, that's a few, few million dollars right there to get stay in somebody's bank account and draw interest. We're not stupid, ma'am. So, uh, no, no, that man was supposed to bring a shipping label with him. And if he didn't know it, you knew it. Or Amazon did. So, what what is the problem with the order? How come that didn't happen? I'm actually as a bunch of it here on my end. There is no return label that was processed, so that might be the reason as to why. What does that? Wait, okay, uh, you know you're 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 using, you're using you're using terminology I'm not familiar with, man. It wasn't processed. It wasn't processed by whom? Who was who was the responsible party that didn't process that label? On the Amazon website. I'm sorry. I. You can actually do that on the Amazon website, or that can be processed, or um, that can be made once you've called us um, to speak with the representative. So, if I may ask, um, have you spoke with the represent? Have you spoke with the representative with the return label? For the item that you will be returning, ma'am, why do you think I set the thing on the front porch for it since uh, the twenty fourth? Why do you think I'm calling you now? That in concerns that it hasn't been picked up yet. Doesn't it make sense that I that I would have had to have spoken with somebody? I would otherwise I would just be doing this. What? Yes, ma'am. It is obviously the, we're dangerously close to being through, ma'am. That might be some relief to you, but it is greatly frustrating to me. I don't understand. The bottom line is, what's going to happen on this package? I'm, I'm tired of Mickey Mouse stuff here. What's going to happen with it? Mm -hmm. Monday. You're going to pick it up Monday. I'm sorry? I just had a realization. You just told me it's going to, you're going to pick it up Monday. Yes. And then after you I'm get the money. To Um, on the next business day, so that will be on Monday. 
So then if you don't get it there with it by Friday, which is another holiday, I might not get my money for another week or two. Um, actually, um, if you're, if you want to um, have the money, um, to be returned back to your account, we can tr choose the Amazon gift card so that you will be receiving the refund within two to three hours. You were supposed to be doing that anyway. I'm sorry? I, I, that's what I had requested, ma'am. When I called the first time, the representative that you don't have any record of me having spoken with, we had already worked that out. I got a $40 uh, uh, promotional coupon that you gave me with my own damn money. I thought that was hilarious. And then turned around and gave me a gift card for the uh, amount of this item upon return of this item. And then you created an order for it, a return, a pickup order, and then you didn't pick it up. And so now here it still is, and I'm speaking with you about it, and you have no idea what I'm speaking about. I'm actually getting a reason as to why I'm a bit confused with regards to your consent today. It's because um, it's the showing you're on my end that we don't have previous history of call, uh, I mean, the previous representative wasn't able to notate on the account regarding on the return label that she processed. But I'm um, no worries, I'll go ahead and check this one for you. For the yeah, I'm not worried about it either. I recorded it and it's on YouTube right now. So if you need to reflect your records and you can't find it on yours, you're welcome to you, you check mine. And it's under my account, your Mazaho, and just look it right up. Yeah, that Amazon strikes again. Mm hmm. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Right. You're welcome to you're welcome to re re view the whole video. And oh, I believe her name was Stephanie. Stephanie, all right. I'll go ahead and check this one on my end for you first. Okay, just please stay on the line. I'll just need to place this call on hold. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stay on the line. I'll put you on pause a minute too, while I think I find that video with me speaking with Stephanie. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did upload it. Hang on a minute. I apologize for the wait. I'm still checking this one for you, okay? Just need to stay on the line. I just need additional one to the minute. Yes, ma'am. And I was wrong about that video. It's called Damazon. I'll believe it when I see it. And it's on your Mazaho's account. Yes, ma'am. I'm reviewing it right now. I understand that. Um, I'll just go ahead and have this one processed. Yes, ma'am. Take your time. I wanted an online gift card. All right, thank you so much for that information. That that, that I could use in a in on on any product sold through Amazon, not by Amazon. I don't want any stipulations on that card. I want it to be able to use it just like cash on anything, even to pay my Amazon Prime membership account if I so desire. And if, if that's not applicable, then put it back in my bank account. Because when I gave it to you, I could buy groceries with it until then. But when you overcharged me for that first item, you gave, you didn't give me the money back. You gave me a card. And when I tried to use the card, then it turned out I couldn't use it on just anything. And if you forget, it was my damn money. But that that's all right. I, that's still supposed to be pending too. But like the video says, I believe it when I see it. So we ain't got to that point yet. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get through this, this aspect of getting the order correct in the first place or the return so I can get to that point. Okay, I see. Who am I speaking with? Mm -hmm. And what's your name, nice lady? My name is Sophie. Miss Sophie, thank you very much. You're most welcome. Please just stay on the line. I'll get back to you once they're done.
Meanwhile, this is the part I'm talking about right here. Let me do a little pause button. I don't know if you'll be able to hear her with that fine music playing in the background. I can't turn the volume. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I can turn the volume up. I can turn it up. I can turn it up. Oh. I will be here. physically send me a card that I have to use. This will be an online presence. Yes, it's going to be a, a digital gift card. I mean, it's going to be your Amazon gift card, Mama. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So, from the horse. And, you know, I know it's a sign of the times and all that we live in, but I, I just feel more comfortable with everybody knowing. That's just plain old tobacco. I just, I just smoke plain old tobacco and that thing. I just do. Just plain old tobacco. Maybe I need. <laughs> just, what would be so damn ill with these people? I don't believe. I don't believe there's a drug made that you can <laughs> they deal with them. They can't. Overall, I'll give them about 80%. I order something that gets here, I don't have a problem. I do have a problem. Uh, about 60%. Uh, it's, it, it can go about half wrong. Um, half the time. It really can. I remember a set of pliers that they they sent me. They weren't they weren't what was in the picture. We we talked about it. We found them with the same set. She was on the site. I was on the site. This is what I wanted. Okay, she ordered them for me. I created. She created a return. They picked them up. They sent me the wrong pair again. I said, look. And she said, you know what? I, I don't blame you. Just keep them. Just keep them. It's costing us more to, to return them than it is anything else. Merry Christmas or whatever. It wasn't even Christmas, but fine. I did I did order another pair and got them right. Thank you so much for patiently holding in the line. Sir, I apologize for the wait. All right, so there you go. I have a business for you. The carrier of the package, which is UPS, will be picking up the item um, on the next business day. That will be on Monday. And... Um, we will go ahead and process an instant refund for you, and that will only take you to three hours to be reflected in your Amazon gift card, okay? Well, that's very considerate. Thank you. I'm sorry? That's very thoughtful. Thank you. You're welcome. And since you're all set now, anything else that I can help you with for today? Is there any type of confirmation number or anything the, or order number that I can reflect on the next time I'm asked regarding this? Um, actually, for this one, I'm sorry, Bober, we don't have a confirmation number for this conversation. However, um, I can go ahead and send you an email right after this call. Um, that can serve as a proof that you've, we've talked today. And that will also reflect on your account so that if in case that you will be calling back in the near future, um, the next representative will have a reference about our conversation. But no worries, I can assure you that you won't be needing to call us back again because 35 will be processed on your account within the to three hours on it. So no need for you to hassle yourself and call us back, okay? 
again, it's very considerate. Thank you. You're most welcome, and these are all set now. Again, thank you so much for calling Amazon customer service, and I hope all is well, and you have a great one, and happy new year. Bye. Yes, ma'am, you as well. Um, goodbye. Bye-bye. Another half hour. I wonder what, wonder what Amazon representative gets paid per hour. They're into me for about four and a half now. Plus, I'm paying, I'm paying them to get the order wrong. I'm paying them their prime membership every month for them to get the order wrong and tie my money up for weeks. Something's, something's not right. I, I, I need a, I need a damn start a new business. God, come join me, won't you?